Hey folks, it's Jim. I've been stocking these barrels for a year. Um, they were normally $60 a piece. Food grade, uh, 14 gallons. It will hold 14 gallons of liquid water in my case. Uh, you can see the five gallon bucket next to it. This isn't much bigger than the five gallon bucket, yet it will hold almost three times the volume. So when it comes to digging and burying my cache, which is what I'm gonna use one of these for is my cache, and I'll show you why in a minute why I wanted a larger barrel. There were some that were barely bigger than a five gallon bucket going for 30 bucks. These were generally 60 bucks. So I put these on my list, my radar, and I waited. And being the good hunter gatherer I am, as soon as the price dropped, I grabbed them at half price, okay? So that's what I mean about also purchasing as a prepper, being patient, hunting and gathering, stocking the item you want, just like you do any prey. And be patient, everything eventually goes on sale. That's what I've found. And I don't consume, even though I wanted these really bad, I wasn't going to pay $60 for this. You know, and now I've got it at half price. Yes, to me, that's reasonable. That's what I'm going for. So I couldn't use a five gallon bucket for my cash for the specific cash that I was doing. And I'll show you in a minute why. And, uh, and for now, I want to zoom up on the top and show you the stoutness of that uh, top. Okay. And uh, see if I can get that in there. This hasp has this lock here, okay? So you can actually lock this with a little lock if you want through that hole um, if you needed to, if you were going to store this in your garage or something. But I needed a lock on mine to be legal, and I'm going to show you why in a minute. So that's one thing I wanted. This also reminds me of a bear bait ring. Remember how tough those are if you, you know, for all you bear hunters and stuff out there? This is one tough, I mean, spring-loaded ring, folks, that I tell you what, man, is this thing tough and stout. I have no worries about this surviving at all, none whatsoever. Not only that, but when I received this item, okay, this vacuum locks on there. Look at that. I have to break it to get it open, okay? And look at that lid. Isn't that nice? So we've got this around here. You could even, it has rubber around the edge to seal it. So I'm not worried about this leaking either. Okay, isn't that awesome? You know, it comes with a rubber ring. Oh, look at this thing, right? Fantastic. This, this is, that's why I wanted this barrel and have been stocking it for over a year, okay? Um, so, but the real reason why I wanted this, and uh, let me zoom out a little bit. Let me see what the video is doing. Um, well, no, that's okay. So the real reason I wanted this was because I want to bury my Henry's survival rifle, right? If you don't know what this is, this is a Breakdown 22. Uh, pilots carry them. I think they still do carry them in their uh, survival pack. Um, but this allows me to have some, you know, ability to hunt uh, and extends my, uh, should I ever need my cash, and have I, if I have left everything behind or whatever, lost everything for whatever reason, now I can be back on track quite well with a decent little rifle. They're not great, okay? So don't run out and buy one if you don't already own one. But it is a great little product that allows me to be fairly accurate at 50 to 75 yards. And I can get lots of little game with that, can I? But the thing I really like about it is 14 gallons of water that I can hold fresh water. This is food grade plastic. Almost three times the amount that a five gallon bucket can hold. So when I'm setting up camp, I've got a great uh, way to collect water, right? And store quite a lot of water. And then I can just uh, plug in my filters and uh, filter the water right out of here into my bottles or cups or whatever. That was another reason why I wanted this and that's why I got two. I'm putting one on my mini camper project that I'm building and then uh, this one is, is going to be my cache, and I wanted something that would fit my Henry rifles and a couple of other longer items, uh, a nice uh, fly pole, and some other things that I wanted to put in a cache. I didn't want to just use fishing line. I want a nice fly pole. You know what I mean? And all of that will fit in here, won't it? And at the same time, I'm getting food grade plastic, very tough and durable, fantastic lid assembly. And it's, uh, you know, it's food grade and holds 14 gallons of water. Isn't that fantastic? So, and not only that, but should this ever, you know, if I took this, say, in a vehicle bug out or something, here you go. 
water uh, resistant and will probably float should you know we ever lose our gear in a flood or something like that but anyway uh, I just wanted to share that with you I am very very happy with these barrels again I waited two uh, I mean a year okay I've been hunting stocking this item for uh, over a year and normally it was 60 bucks and I tell you now I see why people were paying that price. I personally would not pay that price, okay? And uh, um, I personally wouldn't, but you can see this, how tough this is, man. This is awesome stuff, man, right here, you know? Just awesome. And then you can lock it, and I need the lock to make this legal in my state to bury a rifle in, okay? I gotta have it locked, don't I? So this will cover those requirements so um, I don't have to break the law to be prepared. That was the other reason why I wanted to go with it. Again, it's a 14 gallon food grade bucket. They're normally 60 bucks, which is ridiculous for a 14 gallon bucket. But after you get one, you'll see why they're expensive. That lid alone is, it, lid setup is, is really nice. Um, but I didn't mind paying $30. And so I waited two years, and yes, once again, I was able to get an item that I very much wanted at half price. Like I tell you, we can get everything. If we become good hunter-gatherers, stock our prey, which in this case was this blue barrel, be patient. We can take it with much less effort than someone else might have to. In this case, money, right? Okay. Um, and it holds a ton of gear. Again, I mean, you got a five-gallon bucket versus 14 gallons. And not much more difficult to bury either. That's the beauty of it. The bottom's just a little bit bigger than our five gallon bucket, but you see how wide the five gallon bucket gets as it goes up. It's almost as wide as our 14 gallon uh, item here. Okay, so just wanted to show that. This is the Eagle 1610MB. That's what uh, has been on Amazon. And again, I've been waiting for a year maybe a year, maybe 13 months, I don't know. Um, and finally it did go on sale and now I have two of them at that price and I'm very, very happy. One's going in my camper, one is gonna be my new cache. Just because I want a really nice fly pole and I want my Henry's rifle in my cache. So anyway, I hope you're all doing well. Um, just an alternative to the standard five gallon bucket cache. Have you thought about what you really want in your cache? Will it fit in a five gallon bucket? In my case, there was no way in hell I was getting the Henry's rifle or my nice fly pole in there um, that I picked up cheap as well. My fly pole, I got cheap off of a friend who is not fishing anymore. And what a great setup that rig is. So anyway, um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope life's treating you good. Just an alternative to the standard five gallon cache. And think about the versatility this has. And with regards to water collection, in a true SHTF WRL down where you've evacuated and have to build your shelter, when you go collect this cache, you will have a water uh, containment system that's of significant size, right? That can really do the job for you rather than just a five gallon bucket. And this is also food grade plastic, so that's our next bonus. Um, and those are the things, the reason why I went for this, I really wanted to update and alter my cache uh, without having to dig a whole lot more, you know what I mean? And I don't, don't have to dig much more than the five gallon bucket. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, swallowed down the wrong pipe. Uh, to do this, and that's the beauty of it. Um, and I'm really happy, and it's going to be a great addition to my camp setup. So I hope you're all doing well and extremely durable. Uh, man, I love this thing. Better than I thought it was going to be when I got it in. And don't you love that? Where you get something at 50% off and it's better than you thought it was going to be when you get it. Hope you're all doing well. Jim out.